Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Who the world calls God, Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also a shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and a sincerity shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the title of this video, Lord willing, um, is going to be A Servant is in Power. Because that's truly what's going on here. A servant is in power, you know, that servant being Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that the Bible speaks of, the devil the Bible speaks of, man, all right, they are in power, they are in rulership, and when a servant is in power or rulership, okay, you know, it's not good, you know, because a natural servant, you know, doesn't have, doesn't have much, you know, lives off the master, okay, you know, so when they finally get some, they usually don't know what to do with it. And with Esau, Edom, him being the devil, the devil in the flesh, you know, once he gets this power, you know, uh, it already says in the book of Psalms 14, you know, um, let me just pull it here. Psalms 14 and one is uh, to the chief musician. A Psalm of David, the fool have said in his heart, there is no, no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do good. So when Esau, Edom, you know, he doesn't have that belief. It wasn't put in him, it put in him to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So him being in power, him being a rulership and not believing in, in the power to put him in that rulership, you know, that's going to lead to pride. You know, he's going to, uh, it was what scripture says, ab abominable works. You know, so that's why, you know, this devil was, uh, you know, was talking about last night uh, uh, with this meta world, you know. These devils, they live piss poor lives, man. Even even in rulership, man. So that's why, you know, they got to create the metaverse. They got to have sex with animals. You know, they they marrying trees. Okay. they They pollute the ground. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, it's a scripture that says, um, uh, yield is strength. Con, this is, uh, Genesis chapter 4 and verse 12. And this is, uh, speaking of, uh, going back to Cain. Let me just start it then. Yeah, let me start here. This is the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 8. And Cain talked with Abel, his, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And Cain in the reincarnation is Esau, man. The so-called white man today, you know, uh, you know, based on the scriptures, man, based on uh, through the precepts, through the understanding, you know, Cain reincarnated uh, was Esau, you know, hating his brother. It says, and the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem said unto Cain, where is Abel, thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? You know, so getting getting uh, pretty much getting slick with the Lord, you know, verse 10. And he said, what has thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Verse 12, it says, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a, and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth you know so these people 
these so-called white people, they have no, they have no heritage, you know. They have nothing to go to, you know. They come from the, uh, from the mountains, cavemen. Okay, so what do these people really have, man? Now that the Lord has given them, you know, the, uh, is giving them the fatness of the earth. You know, Scripture says, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The Lord has given Esau, you know, his time to be in rulership. You know, now he's creating chaos in the earth. That's why the scriptures say uh, the whole creation groaneth, man. Okay, and it says, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto her, her he'll yield unto thee her strength. So that's why, you know, even Esau, he can't, he can't produce things right, man. You know, that's why they got to they gotta use the GMO, you know, fake foods, all these types of things, man, because the earth is not yielding its strength with this man in power. Okay, chemtrails all in the air, you know, the whole creation groaneth. Let me actually get that real quick as well. Romans chapter 8. And let me start at verse 21. It says, Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption and to the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. You know, so even these animals are in uh, captivity, man. Even they, even they going through it. All right. And it says, For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. So the whole creation is groaning, man, because... The devil is in rulership. A servant is in rulership. He doesn't know how to properly rule. Let me get to the scripture here. This is Proverbs chapter 29. And uh, let me start at the top. It says, he, Proverbs 29 and 1, he that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall, shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. You know, destruction is coming, you know, to two thirds of our people, first and foremost. And it's definitely coming to you, uh, you heathen nations, starting with the so-called white nation. suddenly be destroyed man verse 2 says when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice so in the kingdom of heaven there's going to be peace on earth man it's going to be righteousness on the earth man no more uh no more drugs you know esau he legalizes cigarettes man black and miles man but it's illegal to collect rainwater you see the, uh, you see the unrighteous, you know, decrees. You know, it's going to talk about unrighteous decrees. Woe unto him that that prescribe unrighteous decrees. Roughly paraphrasing, destruction, man. There's nothing left else left to do but to destroy this servant in power. He's a servant. He's not meant to rule. Kings are meant to rule, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the kings of this earth man the men okay starting with the 144,000 Lord willing we are that number rulership belongs to us but we have a servant in power why because we've discommanded uh, we disobeyed the heavenly father we went after these idol guys that these other heathens serve man you know like the brother out one said they're like imaginary friends they're not real there's only one true power and that's Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. It says, "When the righteous are in are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. The people are mourning, man. The animals are mourning. Look, the trees are mourning, man. The earth is not is not in its full strength because it is devil. So I can because it is devil, man. The so-called white man." They're not fit to rule. 
let me jump here to uh this is what sparked me to do this video reading this proverbs chapter 30 starting at verse 21 it says for three things the earth is disquieted so the earth is not at its peace the earth is not at its strength for three things the earth is disquieted and for four which it cannot bear for a servant when he reigneth a servant is reigning right now man and he's not operating off the law statutes commandments man so what is he what is he bringing forth he's bringing forth death he's bringing forth sin he sells you people pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, crawfish, man. Crab legs. Sells it as a delicacy and ups the price on you niggas, man. And you buy it. A devil, uh, a servant is not meant to rule. It says, for when a servant, when he reigneth, man. And a fool, when he is filled with meat. Hey, the scripture said in uh, Psalms, the fool have said in his heart that there is no God. So these 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 heathens, starting with the so-called white nation, are fools, man. When he is filled with meat, you know? And these people got the fatness of this earth, man. You know, but what the scripture says in Job? Uh, let me just get it real quick. I'll go back. This is Job chapter 20. And I'm going to start at 11. Uh, the point is that verse. Uh, per, point is at verse 15. But I'm going to start at verse 11. Job chapter 20, verse 11. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not. So sin is pretty much like this is sin is Esau's heritage, man. You know, a fugitive and a vagabond. No, you like, no, he doesn't have anything, man. But but sin, you know, sin lives, lives through them. man. They, they, they wake up thinking wickedness, man. Was that Micah 2? Michael, the second chapter, you know, they in the morning, they practice it. It says, yet his meat and his bowels is turned, is turned. It is, it is the gall of apps within him. He have swallowed, swallowed down riches. And he shall vomit them up again. Yehowah power shall cast them out of his belly. The Lord is going to take them out of rulership, man. He shall vomit up his riches, man. That's why it's vain, you know, for Esau, you know, it says in Psalms 49 and 11, if, my st if I'm not mistaken, you know, the inward thought is that their uh, houses shall dwell forever, man. But the Lord is going to make them vomit up their riches. Uh, back to Proverbs 30. And uh, 22, it says, for when a servant, when he reigneth, uh, and a fool, it says, uh, and a fool when he is filled with meat. For an odious, yeah, that's really the point, but I'll, I'll read to uh, 24, it says, for an odious woman, when she is married, uh, odious going back to... Um, let me just pull it here. If I want to say like a proud, but let me not be wrong here. Odious. It says hateful, deserving of hate. Uh, so I can't got cut off, but it says hateful, offensive, unpleasant. So let me go back here. 
It says, for an odious woman when she is married and a handmaid that is that is heir to her mistress, you know, try to plot. Uh, verse 24. Yeah, that's the point. You know, so all these things, you know, is is gruesome for this earth, man. Okay? Because this earth is a, is a, it's a spirit, man. You know, when it's not being treated correctly, it throws off the spirit. You know, that's why it says the whole earth is out of course. I'll close with this. It'll be the Lord's will. Con Psalms 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. See, all the foundations of the earth is out of course because a servant is in rulership, man. This is Sirach 25 or 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth, I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And we're waiting to, to see the fall of our enemy. That's going to come, you know, when Yahweh Shah makes his uh, second coming, man. Yahweh Shah is going to come. You know, that's why it says in Revelations, many crowns, man. The Lord is coming to, to take over, man. Okay? And scripture says, he that overcometh will he give power to rule over the nations. All right? Joint heirs with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Lord willing, we, you know, we stay diligent in this thing, man. All right? So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. A servant is in power, man. Okay? Don't follow the ways of a servant, man. Follow the ways of kings, man. The ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. I'm going to close, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Until the next lesson, I say Shalom and a Bible ball. Shalom.